with Read to Me, Mrs. C. Learning through reading is fun. Yippee! So let's open a book and we'll have an explore. The more that we read will mean you're learning more. Why, welcome back to Read to Me, Mrs. C. I'm excited that you are here. I have an awesome story for you today because there's two different things I want you to focus on in this story. The first thing I want you to focus on is the wonderful character that the author has created to tell a story about the life cycle of a tree. Here's a life cycle of a tree. You have the egg, which is the seed, the acorn in this story, and then you have the sapling, and then the tree, and then when you go full circle, the tree starts to drop some of its seeds, more acorns. The author created a silly and fun character to tell the story of the life cycle of a tree. Get yourself cozy. Be a reading detective and see if you can hear a little bit about the life cycle of a tree. Acorn was a little wild. Written by Jen Arena. Illustrated by Jessica Gibson. Published by Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. Acorn was a wild little thing pointy on one end and capped on the other. He was the first of his generation to jump off the tree. Don't do that, said Oak. Squirrels will get you. I don't care about squirrels, said Acorn. I just want to roll. And roll he did. He liked the feel of the sun on his face and the wind against his cap. He even took to taunting the squirrels. Na, 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 na. Sure enough, just as Oak had warned, a squirrel got him. She scooped Acorn into her paws and scrambled up a tree. And Acorn loved it because Acorn was a wild little thing. He loved the thrill of the climb and the kick of bounding from branch to branch. Ooh-wee! Then the squirrel took a nibble of Acorn. Acorn did not love that. Whoa, 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 wait a minute there, buddy. Before the squirrel could nibble more, a dog came along. And the dog and the squirrel barked back and forth until the squirrel forgot all about Acorn and dropped him. Wow, little acorn was lucky he didn't get eaten. If you get a chance to look at a tree that's dropping its seeds, you'll see that they have hundreds and hundreds of them dropping. Only a couple of them will become a tree. The rest is used for food for lots of different animals. I know deer love to eat them. I know squirrels and chipmunks like to eat them too. And I'm sure there are other animals that eat acorns. Our little friend acorn was not happy about being eaten. But that's why a, a tree drops so many of the seeds. So some of them survive and some of them don't. Let's listen to some more of this story and see what happens with our friend acorn. And the rush. Man, the rush of falling from the tree. It was even better than when Acorn had jumped that first time from Oak. Acorn hit the ground and rolled down the hill again. Look! No hands! 
He sat in the grass for days and days, and the rain came and pounded on his shell like a good Swedish massage. And Acorn loved that because Acorn was wild that way. Oh, a bit to the right, please. Eventually, another squirrel found Acorn. Oh, let's go, go, go! Acorn cheered. I want to feel the wind against my cap. But the squirrel didn't carry him up a tree. The squirrel took Acorn and buried him deep in the ground. And that was no fun at all. Squirrels do bury acorns so that in the winter when they're hungry, they go out, dig them up, and gobble them up. Oh my goodness, little acorn just got buried. I wonder what is going to happen when a seed gets buried deep in the ground. Do you have a prediction? If you do, tell somebody near you now or say it out loud. Okay, here we go. Let's finish the rest of the story and see how it ends. But after a while, Acorn noticed cool things going on down there. The worms were so chill, wiggling around and tickling him as they passed. And Acorn laughed when they did, because even underground, Acorn was still a little wild. Acorn had a lot of time to think in the dark. He felt as if he was changing. He didn't quite understand because he'd been the same wild little acorn for so long. But changing was an adventure, so acorn was all in. After a while, Acorn found himself stretching and stretching and pushing hard. And then he felt the sun for the first time in ages. Acorn had grown out of his cap and popped right up through the ground. And it was so cool. He liked it so much, he put down a few more roots and kept on growing. Day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. Acorn hadn't lost his wild side. Sometimes he shook his leaves after a summer storm and rumble laughed when the squirrels got all wet. And if a fox peed on his trunk, he dropped a stick on its noggin, dink. He never told another acorn, don't do that. He always said, go for it. And when the sun was low and the moon was high and the owls hooted in the night, he called all his friends together. And he loved every minute because Acorn was an oak, but still a little wild inside. My friend, I hope you enjoyed learning about the life cycle of a tree through the story of our little friend, Acorn. Hey, did you like this story? If you did, push the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so because I have lots of books about learning and having fun and even being silly. Okay. Until I see you again, I hope that you keep on reading.